I need to go and speak to Steer. He is the priest of our care, and we should find him in Solitude's Hall of the Dead. He apparently has the key to the catacombs, which is why we need to see him. the one Falk spoke so highly of. Welcome. You mean Rogvir? Yes, I made an appeal to Captain Aldous. He allowed Rogvir to have a proper Nord burial, as is the custom in solitude. All my life, I practically grew up in the hall. My father and mother were the priest and priestess of our king before me, you see? I believe I was put here to protect this place from the darkness that pervades solitude. This city has a long history of madness and murder. The Wolf Queen, Pelagius, the death of High King Toric, and now public executions. My books tell the stories, I have no doubt, as pretty as its streets are. As jovial as the bards may be, darkness is drawn to solitude. Ah, Potema, former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, the Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Yes. I had Falk call you back because you were at the summoning. You have a connection to Potema now. You must deal with her. I can provide you with help for her minions, though. This should help you deal with the catacombs themselves. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by Arke. A curious figure. Unrepentantly evil and nasty, of course, but also astonishingly brilliant, and obviously quite a necromancer at her end. She was always so close to being Empress, but despite her machinations, it was never to be hers. Ironically, if she were alive today, she'd be the only living member of the Septim bloodline. By all rights, she would now be Empress. May Arke bless you with a long life. He has given us the key. I'm going to go to Whiterun just for a moment to get a few levels of training for the two-handed skill. This will help me reach level 100 for this skill much sooner. I will be making the skill legendary again after it does reach 100. Vilkas from the Companions is the person who can train me. It's actually been a while since I've last seen the Companions.
May the gods watch over your battles, friend. It's all in the swing. Let me show you. Good day. I think I'll just have a look around the castle Dawa and see what it now looks like now that the Empire is no longer here. It doesn't really seem that much different. Imperial armor is still here and also the Imperial banners are still up. Okay, now let's see about getting into these catacombs.
blessings of the nine divines upon you. How may I help? You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Those who worship at the shrines will sometimes receive boons from the gods themselves. The nature of the favors varies per deity. Please, feel free to worship at any or all of the shrines. The strong and honorable always carry the blessing of the Nine. Seems like a nice temple. Should feel more peaceful once the catacombs are all cleared out. Remind us of our place when we forget. While we're down here, we need to find, then defeat Batima, collect her bones and give them to Steer. You've arrived at last. The hero who prevented me from being bound returns to my fold. I have much to thank you for, little one. When you die, I will raise you and you can take your place by my side. You'll serve me soon enough. There to have been vampires down here as well.
this must be the next area. All of this seems to run underneath solitude. I'm going to have to use these levers to get free. This shouldn't take long. I'm still surprised how even some of the strongest Droga can try to run away from you.
Not much further. Come to me. Serve me in death. It feels like Patima is watching us, as if she knows exactly where we are. But can you stand against my inner counsel? Let's see.
I don't know exactly how long Patima has been dead for, but anyway, we have her remains. As soon as we're out, we'll return to the priest. Hopefully the people of Solitude will feel much safer now that Patima has been dealt with. I think once this quest has been completed, we should be one step closer to being able to purchase the Solitude home. I need to be able to buy it because there is a stone of Berenzia inside, and I only need a few more before I have all 24. You've returned, I'm hoping successfully. Excellent. These things do have a way of working out when people take action. I'll sanctify the remains. In case Falk doesn't make it clear, Solitude owes you a debt of gratitude. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. You've done a great thing today. It doesn't matter who you support in the war, 
Potema would have been a blight on the land for both sides. Without you, this would have been a disaster. I should have paid more heed to Varnius's warnings. I won't make that mistake again. Take this payment. The Jarl would thank you, but she very much wants to keep Potema's return quiet. Make no mistake, we consider you a protector of solitude. <coughs> Do you have business with the court? Because killing her would yield no political advantage. By leaving Elisif alive, Ulfric completes the separation of the Empire and Skyrim. With Ulfric's troops here, Elisif will be forced to support his bid for High King. He secures the position and appears above reproach. What's more, Ulfric's refusal to execute his slain enemy's wife will be portrayed as the ultimate act of compassion. <laughs> it's genius, really. Well, by rights, she had a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But now, Skyrim is at Ulfric's mercy. The Moot will meet and choose Ulfric as High King. With his troops in most of the cities, they have little choice. She still mourns greatly for her husband, High King Torik. So she leaves many of the courtly details to me. I won't forget what you've done for Solitude. Alright, let's just leave it there. And next time I will speak to Jarl Elisif because I recall that you need to complete a miscellaneous quest which is set by her before I am able to purchase property in the city.